Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're out here camping, actually. Been out for a little bit. Tried to get this truck level, but it was a chore, but it's all right. Um, I haven't filmed much because my dog is a jerk. There's a bunch, there was a bunch of dogs out here. And I was like, maybe a tray will be friends, but he's not, he's just not friendly. He's a bad dog. So he's hanging out in the uh, truck for a bit. Maple's out socializing though, so that's good. And Jason, Overland Eats, is cooking up some food. So we got all these other good dogs running around. They're friends with each other. And my dog is embarrassing me. Except for this one is okay. This one's okay. But my big one's no good. He's like a great mountain dog where we live not by anyone, but he would be a very bad dog in the city. And he's just big, you know? He's a pit bull German shepherd, so I worry he'll hurt another dog. So he's just hanging out in here for now. You stay. You stay. <laughs> All right, are you ready? That's why you're on camera. Yeah. Wait, does Mike, Mike, did you want to get a, a cooking thing? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Well, are you gonna, are you gonna... Oh my gosh, this is hectic right now. I'm recording you. This, I'm is, recording the slow -mo, you this is the slow-mo moment here, all right, people? You're oh, here we go. Do you need... <laughs> hey! It's, no. it's happening right now. Like all right, never mind, it's not happening. Hey. Hold on, all right. Oh, he's not going to hurt yeah. you. Yeah. All right, when do they go? All right, there it is. Oh my right, gosh. Did you get that? Dude, it's called a raise. What are you doing? Whiskey? Everyone, <laughs> it seems like a good thing to do. It seems right good, right? <laughs> this is out of control. Oh my god. I need a con more control. Brought some firewood from home. Everybody's need to take a shot. This is Aaron. <laughs> he currently runs socials for iCamper, but apparently he's getting fired soon, so I don't know. <laughs> no, just kidding. So Jason's cooking up what is it again? Hey, grits. We're making a little New Orleans style shrimp and grits tonight. So. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans style. You just, whatever you say, just don't say New Orleans. Oh, you don't say New Orleans. Say Some New Orleans. It's just, it's not two words, it's one word. You got New it, Orleans. You got it. So Jason uh, runs an Instagram account called Overland Eats. I guess you do a little YouTube, right? A little tiny bit here and there yeah, once yeah. in a while. Well, I'm, I'm not uh, not uh, Mike status, but you know, making an effort. But he he cooks for people, so I try to go camping with people that cook, so I don't have to. So uh, that's what we're doing here. Okay, cool. I'm gonna hang out, but it was one of those times where I probably would have not filmed, and then it would have been nighttime, and I would have forgot to make a video. So. I'll try to update you here and there. Actually, here, we'll just talk about what's going on here. So here, the brought the Dometic 25, 25 or 27. Got some random stuff in here. Ashley's got her drinks. I've got some drinks, what do we got? Ashley has a salad in case she didn't know what we were gonna cook up tonight. So this is like a backup dinner plan. I uh, got some drinks. Got some drinks. Got some water. Just brought a little Goal Zero. This is the 500, 500X, and my camera gear in there. And in the bed, just have a full-size spare, chilling for now. Uh, weather is eh, kind of cloudy, but the thing I like about the Diamondback, you can just throw everything back in here, and I don't care if it rains or whatever. Maple puked a few times on the drive over. We've been trying everything with maple. We've been trying CBD, ginger, ginger snaps, everything, and nothing seems to help. Have her down low, have her up high, have her see outside, have her not see outside, and she just seems to get uh, sick no matter what. And a tray is going crazy because he just wants to fight people. So it's an interesting trip so far. But yeah, again, gonna hang out for a bit. Uh, we'll talk rigs and stuff probably a little later, but I'm gonna hang out, eat some food, 
Yeah. So these are Jason's knives that are gonna go live on Kickstarter June something. First week, first week of June. First week of June. We think. Yeah, he actually gave me a set. They're in my truck right now. And these are like limited. I got like a two of six going on. And you guys know I like knives. I think these are, yeah, these are one of six right here. Well, yeah, I would hope you have one of six. Oh, nice. <laughs> I would I'm hope, glad you've got a set. I would hope you have one of six, but I somehow got two. So I feel pretty special. Actually, I'll go show you mine. So here are mine. Uh, they're Messermeister. Messermeister makes them. Looks like uh, my car to little brass washer here. It's nice. Feels good. Obviously, these are kind of for cooking. They're chef, chef type knives. This one's probably a little more my speed. I don't do any of the real, real hardcore cooking, but yeah, I'll link to these down below. Because uh, they're going to be on Kickstarter, obviously kind of a limited thing. Maybe they'll turn into a production thing if they sell enough on Kickstarter. I'm not really sure how that's going on. But Messermeister, if I'm even pronouncing that right, uh, is pretty big in the knife business, especially when it comes to like chef cooking knives. So these are the two. Two. Coming in with the onions. Coming in with the onions. Coming in with the onions. Right now. Boom. 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 Pow, pow. Bam. 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 There it is. <laughs> Alright, y'all come grab this so we can put some more out here. No, this is a little shrimp and grits. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like you're too shrimp right This is the only thing I contributed to the night. Firewood. Is it on? What is this? What do we got over here? So, you get the, like, right here we slam? have yeah. a cowboy cut ribeye steak uh, with black truffle rub on it. And then over here we just have an American Wagyu uh, strip steak. So we'll it's get crazy. a up on this thing here. Should be nice. This is like the most expensive piece of meat that I'll eat <laughs> probably in my life. <laughs> Maybe so. I don't know. Let's be serious. Everybody get serious. Come on. Hold on. Yeah, let me right. turn off my... <laughs> Music. This is about to get so yeah, shot. Look at this. This is like content creation <laughs> going on. That's the most underwhelming thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. <laughs> not a lot of sis. I'm not gonna not lie, I was sis. expecting <laughs> more. <laughs> it smells, yeah, the oh, smell wow. is really crazy though. Dude, the smell is really dog. good. Like, oh, no. The smell is really amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is this is all cooked down. Whole stick of butter. So this is called the spinalis, or the rib cat. That's the knife noise. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we're gonna do it. There we go. Oh, it's cut up. There's, there's nothing but um, salt on this. Okay. There you go. Wow. All right, so here's the setup. It's not actually strobing. It's that LED thing, frame rates where I explained it before, but this is just a solid light. So these are the rear lights. If you've seen the tremor updates that are giving some nice light, these are dimmed down all the way. I set up this string light also that goes over here. This is, uh, this is one of these little Lucy's. I'll link that down below. So we've been listening to music on this. This is the Tri-Bit uh, little speaker, the little rubber handle. Uh, and this actually, I didn't bring the other one, this syncs to two speakers. So if you have basically one speaker on one side of camp and another speaker on the other side of camp, then you can kind of have a surround sound type Bluetooth experience. There's all kinds of copyright stuff, so I'm not gonna play anything for you. But it's actually pretty bassy for a small speaker. X bass on here. Uh, and I listen to music a lot. You don't hear it in YouTube videos. You hear the music I overlay, which is a service I pay for. You can find that link down in the description. But I listen to regular music, obviously, like most people when they're camping. 
and I do listen to it a lot on Bluetooth speakers. Uh, these guys sent me this, but it sounds really good. I have like a other JBL one, and this one sounds actually quite a bit better than it. Um, so you can hook two of them together, and if you're in a big kind of group like we are, I could put like one on the other side and one over here and kind of have a dance party. Little PSA though, if you're nearby any other campers, just kind of chill after a certain time. But, you know, if you're not near anyone, like we are not near anyone, then have a blast. I'll link this down below. So here's the setup with the string lights. And then we're all just chilling around the campfire. What's your, what's your favorite? Computer? Right now. Oh, Got the front runner color? chairs. What's up, dude? So I camper brought the beer. Can't really quite see it. What's the brand again? A little bit of Fremont action. Fremont. So I'm not really an IPA guy, but I had an IPA and we had an oatmeal stout. This is the Disco Wolf. So these guys are out out in Seattle. So thanks for all the beers, Fremont, because we've been knocking some back. And then Jason apparently can't stop cooking. He's like, anybody wants snacks? So we got some leftover Philly cheese steaks. So that's good. Philly cheesesteak. I campers actually got some like test new products out here. A little blanket that we got modeling over here. This is Jake's daughter. I don't know if he wants her face, but she's cruising with us. This is Jake from Lucid Wraps who wrapped the van. He brought his daughter who's like a little monkey. She's just climbing on everything. It's awesome. I just wanted to give you a quick update as we're getting ready for bed. So I got the side lights again, not flashing, but illuminating everything for us. And I just have the dogs inside. They're just chilling, just sleeping. Hi. Hi, puppers. Cool. So I'll probably catch you guys in the morning. We're just gonna hang out. If you have a campfire, completely, completely, completely put it out. Dump tons of water on it. Uh, don't start forest fires because those are obviously the worst thing on the planet. Well, they're not the worst thing on the planet, but they're pretty bad. But yeah, it's been a good night and I'll catch you guys in the morning. There goes Jason from Overland Eats. Trey. This is Jake getting packed up from Lucid Wraps, who wrapped the van, who I think by the time this video goes live, I will have posted my wrap video already. This is his taco. Cool, man. Good times. Well, it's good hanging. Yeah. Take it easy. As well. So Ashley's gonna try her hand at closing this up. The big one is so nice. So it rained a bunch last night. Uh, usually we'll hang out long enough to just let it kind of dry off, but I think we're gonna roll, so that means you Probably gotta open it up when we get home, let it air out, all that stuff. Nice work. It's so bad. <laughs> get her.
Bye. All right, we're all packed up. Gotta grab this little trash bag off the side. Uh, so I just kind of packed the bed pretty full, more stuff than I needed to bring, but I kind of like to do that just so stuff that isn't sliding all around. This is a nice little thing here. But I'm actually, we're gonna head out and I'll dive a little deeper when we get home. Talk a little more. Okay, bye. My brother Danny, I don't think he's ever been in a video, but I talk about him a bit. My older brother, and this is their new puppy, <laughs> Kimchi. Come here, come here. She's come a scaredy on. dog. Maybe come scared on. of this camera and this fluffy thing on top of it. Come on. But she actually looks a lot like Maple. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, Hi, Kimchi. So here's Danny's uh, new Jeep. It's actually, so he had a Wrangler before this and this is the new one and it is the 4XE. So it's the little plug-in hybrid. I've never driven it actually, so I'll probably drive it down. Down, he has a pretty crazy driveway and just kind of curious how it feels in electric mode. Looks like he got his bumper installed. He actually did a bumper install video of this just for kicks so i'll link that in the top left if you got a wrangler and are looking for a bumper he's happy with it got the winch in here it's got his uh high lift bracket mount and he had 35s on his last jeep but he's like eh, for the hybrid maybe just makes sense to keep it a moment 33s it's actually a Sahara edition. It's pretty cool. So Danny's a fly fisherman. He installed this little, you 3D print this little clamp? Yeah. I just made those on the iPad CAD. Did you design those? Yeah. Yeah. So Danny actually runs my CAD and CNC operations for the holster company. So he's always designing little stuff. So this is his uh, fly rod holder in here. And he's got this little bag that has his fly vest and everything. But yeah, that's cool. And then he actually, he has a older F-150 and driving around in this truck is kind of what turned me on to wanting to get a Ford because it's just drives so nice. This is Kayla, my niece. She actually helped Danny with his video. Yes, and you I have do. your own channel, huh? Yeah. You're making cool stuff. Yeah, I do like slime reviews. Slime reviews. Not really related to what you do. Okay. Well, if you're into slime reviews, I'll link her little channel up here, and you can check that out. And this is their their old dog. Fourteen and a half. Fourteen year old Bella. Yeah, she's a sweet. So this is Danny's new. Toy. What are they called technically? Just PCP? A PCP. Right so you pump it up a bunch. You got like a hand like pump, a you can pump. do it. Yeah, it looks like a bike pump. But yeah. It's PSI. Or like a scuba tank. Right. And you pump it up, and then it has how many shots? 60? This one does about 60 or 70. 60 yeah. shots. And apparently it's super quiet. I haven't shot it yet. So here's, uh, here's the view from Danny's house, actually. Pretty, pretty awesome. Oh yeah, that is super quiet. Oh yeah, that little guy down there. First shot. Uh, yeah, it is, there's like zero recoil, <laughs> zero noise.
So there's a circle, there's a outer circle. I got to line up, well, there you go. I was gonna say the bottom edge of that big circle. All right, so it's, wow. It's so crazy not having any sound. So you've wheeled this thing on just electric? Yeah, just once, light, light. Yeah. lightly. Is it how, is it the brake mode on to where if I let off no, it'll just break? it's the blue button. That's right, that guy. So do you do that going down? It's not quite enough to... I'd, I'd sometimes do... Yeah, I mean, it's keeping. You wanna go up here? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's torquey, even though it's just got the little, kind of, not a full electric. The tray loves people, just but does he not like sometimes dogs? he's a little weird with dogs, but dogs that are chill and female are good. Mm. They're good. He is not, she is not See chill. Yeah. She is a female. Yeah, Bella. <laughs> All right. See you guys. See ya. Have a good one. Hey guys, I'm home now and yeah, I got home and took a nap that was way too long. So I'm kind of out of it, but I was out of it while I was out there too. Ashley said, I don't know. I think the whole, my whole dog situation was kind of annoying me. So, but we had a super great time. Uh, thanks to everyone that was out there uh, is, it, it was rad. So it was the first time that Ashley and I actually took the truck out camping like had it for a while first time we took it camping because I've been busy modding it and stuff so it was awesome drives like a dream the big eye camper is so huge and we love it and the bed is big the light situation is awesome so I'm gonna just kind of walk you through some gear because that's what I do here so if you're interested in that we're getting into it so if you've missed this build uh, I have a bunch of videos kind of outlining everything on it. Still waiting to put in the winch. That's probably going to happen next week. This is a Fab Fours Matrix bumper and their open fender system. So you can fit 39-inch BFG KO2s with the Black Rhino Abrams on here. And this is a Ford Tremor 7.3 gasser. And all the lights on here are the KCs. So these are the Flex Aero 4s up here. And the 4s as well here. Pro 6 some C2s around, like up on the rack, up on the front runner rack, and the Diamondback cover. This is the Diamondback truck. If you watch the videos, you'll hear all about that. Uh, and new announcement coming up, but you can go to freedomtremor.com for info on this truck. And then up top, the iCamper, obviously. And man, I would 10 out of 10 recommend the tailgate step if you have the option for a Ford because from the tailgate that's my new favorite way to get the dogs into the tent hop up on there and just toss them through that window there in the back I am probably gonna put a bed slide in so this will all change a bit um, but I just want to show you what we got back here and I'll just kind of unload as we go uh, headlamp I'm still really liking the BioLite headlamps. They have several of these, but all of them I like quite a bit. And I'll link all this stuff down below. Always appreciate you clicking those links. And this, I bought this a while ago. It's from, I think it's a Lucy M-Powered, but this is the string lights that we were using. They're solar or USB chargeable and just a easy to use string lights. I was always getting my string lights tangled and crap and was like, ah. So this is kind of expensive for what it is, in my opinion. But having said that, I do really like it. And then my go-to chairs are always the front runners. So these are their folding, folding chairs that are just size to comfort to ease of use ratio. My favorite chairs out there. Got some Crocs, of course. And I was actually using this system here. So this is the, let me turn the exposure up. So these are the Built Right Industries panels, which right now I don't have anything hooked to them, but I love using them just to hook various lengths of 
um, different cordage and tie downs and stuff. I actually actually loaded this back up in here so she had no idea how I had it. But this is the big, my big camping tub. I've made a whole video on this. Has kind of all, everything I need to go camping right in here. All this extra stuff is kind of just extra. But I could just grab this tub and roll and I'd be pretty well set. So that's the big tub. And then further back is some firewood. And what I did was hook this bungee cord to the firewood and left it hooked up here. So rather than having to reach all the way and climb into the back to get that, I just grabbed the bungee cord and pulled it right out. And then back there we have a full size spare tire as well. And the thing that's so nice about this setup is it rained, it dumped on us last night. Uh, and I was tired and didn't really wanna, you know, clean everything up so I just tossed stuff in the back and closed it up and none of this gets wet when it rains. None of it gets super dusty when you're off road so if you want to keep your stuff you know protected from the elements that is the real one of the big values for how I use the Diamondback. And then here's the Dometic CFX 25 and I had to just this hooked up to a goal zero. This is the Yeti 500 and it's still still good to go. It's been plugged in for about 30 hours now. And I threw like warm drinks in here. Actually, they like weren't in the refrigerator already. So it had to cool it down. So I'm actually kind of impressed that it's done that well. But yeah, that fits right back there. And this is just a super cheap, uh, lightweight double, like double two width sleeping bag that we use when it's not very cold. And I bet actually, this will just fit up in there. So I'm gonna uh, take it out of the little bag and spread it out. And I bet it'll close right up in there. And then this is another thing I liked to use here. So this is a little, it's actually a mini <laughs> dog leash that I have. I just leave it on this Coleman five gallon water jug. And the nice thing is, since it's like this, it won't really slide around or tip over or anything like that. So that just clips to the molly panel. And then your water can come right out like that. Then we just have some pillows that we used, obviously. Uh, hiking boots. And this is that speaker I talked about earlier. So if you have two of these, you can go, I think they call it party mode of the tri-bit. This is the Pro, and so you can hook up two speakers, one here and one over there, and you can either run them in stereo mode, so this is like the left channel and that's the right channel, or just the same. So pretty cool little setup, especially if you're kind of like group camping, or if you just want to use it for the backyard. Feels really nice and sounds, sounds good. This is Ashley's P-Tent that uh, we bring a lot, but she hardly ever uses, but in case where, it's kind of falling apart. In case we are camped somewhere that has no tree cover or whatever and she wants some privacy, then she can pop this up, but she's used it a couple times. And then I got the old Pelican Air 1507. This is, you see this in my videos a lot. It's just my camera gear case with this little newer bag that fits in here perfectly. And so I have everything I need, GoPros, cameras, photo, video, mics, batteries, SD cards, all that stuff. And it fits in here perfectly. And this is a backpack. So if I wanna go on a hike and bring all my gear or whatever and not just like carry the Pelican briefcase style, I can just pull this out. Awesome setup. So this is my go-to just beat up, throw around, don't care, ax. I have like just five of these everywhere. The Fisker 28 inch chopping. And then yeah, these knives that are so nice. Uh, so thanks again to Jason from Overland Eats for hooking it up with this. See if I can do this like one hand with the camera. Here we go. So these, I think, I'll link to them down below. They're on Kickstarter and they're either up there right now or they are about to be live in like a couple days. So I'll link that down below. And then in case you haven't seen inside here, so this is the big eye camper, like super big. Uh, it's just the, the 2.0 and there's a couple different places you can put these poles. This one kind of puts, pops this thing out a little more, like a little wider up here. But inside this is a king size 
mattress. So there was tons of room for Ashley and me and both of our dogs to spread out and not be sleeping on top of each other and bumping into each other and room for all of our gear and whatever up here. So, man, this is, you know, if you're just two people and don't have much or you're one person even, uh, the, the small one's awesome. But if you have more than that or just want more room and have the ability to carry the big one, then the big one is awesome. It is awesome. So then in the back seat, uh, I got this. I think I showed it in a previous video but it's kind of your backseat dog hammock, but it has some kind of semi-rigid panels. So it kind of gives them support on the whole back seat. And then I just throw a dog bed on top of that and maple we throw in a crate. And then that clears up all the room, bunch of stuff, toolkit actually under this seat. Actually, one sec, let me fold this up. So then under the seat, I have some various random recovery gear and toolkit. This is uh, this is an Indeflate, so this is an air up system that can allow me to air up or air down two tires at once. And this is like a full toolkit. This is from step 22. I actually never even took the tags off. <laughs> this is the Pangolin roll, but I basically loaded it out with tools. And maybe I'll do a separate video walking you through uh, all of the tools that I keep there. But it's nice, fits nicely. Tons of room actually still under this back seat. Some room on the other side too. So this is like the two-third seat up. Usually keep those seats down. And then back under here, just various stuff. Jackets, everything. And so this is just my everything duffel, the Vertex contingency duffel. So this is just where I put food, clothes, everything that I need. So whatever I decide to bring on a trip, this kind of just becomes the whole kitchen sink. This is some new Beyond Clothing uh, rain gear that they sent out that I knew there was some rain in the forecast, but I didn't know how much, but didn't get to use any of it because it wasn't raining except for when I was sleeping. And then over here is just where I keep some miscellaneous stuff, bear spray, fire extinguisher, that lantern. Uh, headlamp, socks, safety vest, miscellaneous map pocket stuff. Cool, so that is gonna conclude this super random video that I didn't film nearly enough. So apologies for that, but it was fun. It was a fun time, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you saw some gear, some fun, some nice, some, some good eats, right? But yeah, as always, appreciate you guys watching and until next time. Take care.